Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. I do also stream on YouTube and make fun little guides for multiple different games, you know, not just including Don't Serve Together. Here we go. As we approach our touchstones, we look on the outside as they are, there are some things that are currently displayed. Examining the pig he head essentially makes your character respond with some sort of funky little phrase. And of course, examining the touchstone says, bring me back from death's dark plains. What is a touchstone and why is it so unique and why is it so good at the same time? Well, if you're playing a run known as Endless or anything for that matter, anytime you die and don't serve together, you have the ability to actually go over to a touchstone and revive yourself. So let's just showcase how that basically goes out. As soon as I kill my character, my character is going to appear as a ghost and it's going to tell me that, you know, basically what to do. Haunt a blank touchstone or go to the, go to the portal in order to revive or find another way. What's the reasoning for going to a touchstone versus going to a portal? Well, essentially, if you're playing in endless mode or any mode other than survival, you're going to have the opportunity to use the, the, fl the floored posture. And as soon as you do and you click on it, your character is going to come back in and da -da -da -da, have a limited amount of HP back. So, hmm, all right. Hypothetically, how do we get that HP back? Well, we can use resources like a booster shot to get our HP back unlocked. But what we also could have done was we could have died, and when we do decide to die, we could walk over to the touchstone and haunt that instead. Here we go. As soon as we're revived, anything around there, as you can see, will catch on fire. So we're going to talk about why you need to get rid of stuff in, in the first place there. But nonetheless, I will revive and no longer have actually any more diminishing HP. This obviously before when I revived at the touch or sorry at the at the actual portal, the HP that I have already lost and maxed out is completely gone, but I never lost any additional stuff at the touchstone because the touchstone basically acts as essentially a life-giving enemy. There might be a lot of terms here that you have no idea what I'm talking about, but what I'm basically saying is a touchstone is more of an emergency case that you need to actually revive, but will not remove or add any additional uh, max HP penalty by reviving on them. The other bonus about a touchstone is that just like that, you get little tiny little trinkets or what I like to call pig heads or pig butts by basically smashing these. But I'll save that for another video. Anyways, so here's the thing. If you have the resources to basically revive and get your HP back to square one, well, reviving at the actual postern is a good choice. But otherwise, if you have a touchstone and you haven't had a chance to use it yet, feel free to use it. I would probably make sure that if your touchstones, try to use them only if you absolutely do need them. Because of course, like I said, once you use them, they are gone. And yeah, you're not able to use them anymore. So for example, if I were to die again, I am not going to be able to use this touchstone again. Now, there are some mods that overwrite this, and unfortunately, those mods, like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend, not, sorry, like I said, but as I'm saying, I don't recommend using that because it's going to make it harder if you decide to join somebody else's server that might not have that mod enabled. So, here we go. If you approach a touchstone and you want to use it, go ahead and use it. If you would rather wait till an emergency case scenario, do that as well. But just remember that it is a one-time use, and once you use it, it is gone. But know that there are multiple different touchstones across the map. You just have to look and know where to find them. Looking for the slate of basically brick on the ground will basically warrant you knowing where the actual touchstone is. And as you can see, there's one all the way over here. But of course, I have to travel pretty far to get it. And that's what I am saying. If you're near your portal and you have the resources to actually make yourself a booster shot, you can regain all the lost HP that you've already had. So that way, when you do decide to finally heal up, you're going to heal up as max HP instead of just basically the amount that you have right now. And yeah, that's pretty much how it is with a touchstone. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one and hope to see you soon.